Hey, this is Florian, OnlineTennisInstruction.com. In today's video, I want to analyze Roger Federer's topspin backhand and show you some of the things that he does really well on his topspin backhand. Roger begins with the unit turn. He turns his upper body, he gets his legs in position, and that gets him into this coiled position right here. Roger has turned his shoulders more than his hips. You can see the line of his shoulders here with the blue line and as he will uncoil later this will allow him to generate a lot of power. As you can see here with the yellow arrow his back is pointing slightly to the net and I found that that can be a great reference point. From here Roger is going to lower the racket, uncoil and then swing inside out to contact. Now in this position just before contact I actually want to point something out which I believe is a slight weakness in Roger's topspin backhand. If we look closely here we see that his arm is not fully straight in this position just before contact. You can see that right here with the yellow and the green line there is a slight bend at the elbow uh, in this position before contact. Now you will not see this with with any of the best one-handers in the world uh, players like Gasquet, Wawrinka, Tommy Haas they all have that arm fully straight in this position and as a result Roger sometimes frames shots and uh, does not get the uh, contact point out in front as much as he could with a fully straight arm. So now let's take a look at contact here and as we can see with the yellow and green line right here that arm is not fully straight and that can create problems for Roger on his backhand. Now going back to the things that Roger does so well on his backhand we can see here that he's uncoiled his front leg that leg is uh, fully straight here at contact and tennis is a lifting game we have to lift that ball up over the net and part of that is also swinging forward and upward which we will see here in a second Roger is going to continue forward and upward and his body is going to remain sideways here as you can see right now with that yellow line uh, showing the direction that his arms are pointing in now Roger is not always going to remain this sideways depending on the situation if he has to deal with higher bouncing topspin shots um, he's going to open up a little bit more however this uh, this is a great model for you to work with staying sideways like this and the arms pointing in this kind of a direction alright let's take a look at the whole sequence one more time Okay, so much for this Roger Federer backhand analysis. If you enjoyed this video, I'd like to ask you to click the like button below and also subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you'll be updated about all of the newest videos.